Okay, what, what I'd like to show today is a question that's been asked quite a bit in the, in the forums as well, and it's how to change the parameters once you've designed a case. So <clears throat> let's take this demo case, this Exocad demo case as an example. Say that we selected zirconia as the uh, material, but once we're designing, we decided that maybe we want to mill this out of a different material, say acrylic or PMMA. Okay, so one of the things that we need to pay attention to uh, primarily is the minimum thickness. Okay, so as you can see, it changes from material to material. So that's one of the things we want to keep in mind. And then there's also some materials here, especially when it comes to uh, the crown border. Okay, as, as I make changes here, you can see the different, um, how cer certain things change. Okay. And so we just want to make note of those so that we can alter that inside of the design software. So let's pretend we are here. Okay, we're done with the design. And now this has been designed with the parameters for zirconia. And now we want to go ahead and change them to uh, the acrylic PMMA. Okay, the best way to do this is to go into expert mode. Okay, and in this case, because I'm loading a, a, a case of a crandall is already designed, I will have to delete constructed parts and now it separates my design into different layers and, and these are all the layers that it separates it into and so we will right click on the tooth and we'll go to crown bottoms now in crown bottoms we have access to the border uh, parameters which is what we saw or looking here so one of the things that changes that um, the horizontal crown margin it went from zero to uh, point 0.2, right? And so we can go here into the design and change that. My horizontal to point 0.2, okay? And then we'll click OK and it'll apply those settings and it, it will um, readapt our design to the new settings. And then the other important setting to change here is the minimum thickness. Again, we in expert mode, we right click on the unit and we s click here, set minimum thickness. And then we set this to whatever it needs to be, which I believe is 0.4 for uh, acrylic or whatever you need to set it to. And then you click OK. And then the software will make those changes. And then uh, without changing your design. Now, once that's done, you can click back into the wizard. And so the software will merge everything together. And it'll create a new SDL file with all those settings applied to it. So it's, it's quite a simple process. A lot of people worry about having to go back out and restarting the case from scratch that is not necessary you just have to change the parameters that that, that vary between um between the two different uh, materials and that's it